focal point of this game, and we talked to the Argo quarterback about it. My mindset is to go into the game and, and to play my game. Um, of course, if, if, if I do re-injure it or if I do tweak it, then we're going to have to make some adjustments uh, from uh, the standpoint of, of how I'm going to be utilized. Well, he left the game in the third quarter in late August at Skydome against the Edmonton Eskimos. Flag down as Slack has time, and that pa pass nearly picked off by Gerald Vaughn, who was reading Chad Plummer's mail. Well, Gerald Vaughn was reading the quarterback more than anything. He broke off his coverage and just came back into the scene. You see Chad Plummer coming across right now. He reads that, and you can see 39. Reading the quarterback and almost coming up with a big interception. Argo's offside on the play. The penalty declined, and that forces Toronto into a punting situation. Seven minutes into the opening quarter, and Noel Prefontaine comes in to kick it. And for Clements and the Renegades, they've, they've had decent field position to start this game. Well, they haven't started worse than their 40-yard line, but he looks real tentative right now, and he's reading very slow and almost pointing where he wants to throw the football, something he said he wouldn't do yesterday, but of course it's always different when you're in live game action. Here's Ashley at the Ottawa 50, and he's met there. Mike Fletcher led the blue wave down the field, a 42-yard punt by Prefontaine. So the Renegades in pursuit of their initial first down. And again, Clements up near midfield to start things. And how does he kickstart this offense? Well, you got to give the Toronto defense credit right now. The first downs, the last three series, they've only come with four people and basically stymied the Ottawa offense. Last week to mop up, Clements six for seven and 65 yards. And now Josh Ronick across midfield. A good run by that small power back of the Renegades. Joe Pow Pow comparing him to former BC star John Volpe. Good run by Ronick, and we join Mark. Chris Michael Bishop uh, with a football in his hands about to warm up here on the Argo bench. Reggie Slack just told me he's out. Uh, the hamstring is too tight. He can't go on after just two series. And so the ball goes to the hands of the rookie, Michael Bishop. Well, that was quicker than I think anybody in the Toronto camp anticipated. Uh, unfortunate for Reggie Slack. You know, he was out three hours before the football game today, working on it, doing his drops. And again, even though he wasn't being covered or chased by anybody, he said it felt.